guys. Now we're going to do the second one, which is called the workbench, which is problem solving exercise number two. So we're going to be making this bench here. So like we did before, we're going to make the first the parts over here, the pieces. And then we're going to go extrude them, save the file, make a new one, and then put assembly page as well with the table, either using Excel or using the AutoCAD Excel table format. So this is the one we're going to build. I'll leave it on for a few minutes so you guys can see it. So we'll start off by building the first piece, then the second, and then you go any order you want. I'm just going to go in order to make it simpler for you guys. The way I show you is one way. Obviously, there's a multiple different ways of doing it. So do whichever way is best for you. I'm going to do the way that I find. Thank you. And here you go. So now again, we open up a crash. We open up AutoCAD. Okay, we start a drawing. We're going to go and we look at, use the template that we built already, which is Imperial English TB. And now I start building it. So we'll go for the first piece. Rectangle. You can always do right away from box and continue right off the bat. But I'm going to do the 2D and extrude them. So if we look carefully, we notice that the thickness of all the pieces of wood are going to be two inches. So there's the inches to, to find what the thickness is. So even if they don't give it to us here, like they did in the previous, if you look at the table, you'll see it. So we'll start by making a rectangle. Uh, where's my rectangle? And I'll start placing. Let's go to dimension and do 72 by 5 and a half. So you do dash 1 over 2 if you want to do the symbol press fraction mean enter and there's our first piece the one part two is a similar so we could technically just copy this over and put it to the side we're going to do another one rectangle we'll make them align to each other there you go dimension 19 by five and a half because it already saved the number from before rectangle again Remember, if you press spacebar, it saves, the, it uses the last command that you, you worked on. So we'll go again. We'll make it align to each other. Let's go dimension 48 by five and a half as well. Then we're going to go again rectangle. This one here is going to do be dimension 27 and a half by five and a half so you notice that that one there is a little bit different but for now we're going to make the shape and then we'll go back and modify it let's see right here we're going to cut this chamfer afterwards the next piece so we did one two four five three and now let's do number six rectangle go here dimension F length is 42 width is five and a half there we go and now we're going to do the chamfer so now we're going to do the chamfer so as you can see here we look if we use the chamfer option we see that it says it's three and a half and it's at a 45 so automatically you, you should know that it goes three and a half one way three and a half the other way Let's go use the chamfer tool. Let's go to draw. I oh, sorry, modify, my bad. And we're gonna go to the chamfer which is underneath the fillet chamfer. We're gonna go, we could also do the shortcuts, but I wanna click there. We're gonna go put distance, and our first distance is gonna be three point oops, three point five, which is three and a half, and three point five. Click the first line, click the second line. There you go. So how do we know if it's correct? Well, uh, let's go do an annotation. This one here should be 2, the little distance over here. And we still have a distance of 2. This one here should be 5.5. We have a distance of 5.5. This one here should be 24. Oops. But we don't actually have that distance. We have the distance from here to here which would be 27 and a half which is correct and the distance from here to here oh we're gonna go like that
like that, it should be three and a half. So we have it, it's perfect. So again, we don't need the dimensions here. We're gonna put them in the actual sh layout later on. There's our first pieces. All that's left to draw are the last two, which is PN7 and PN8. So we're gonna go draw a line from here to here again. FA for a straight line this time. Instead of doing a rectangle, now we're gonna do a line. It's 33 dash five over 16. See how I did it? We don't actually have to go put it. If you want, you could always do 33 point and whatever five divided by 16 is. Yeah. So you do, for example, 33.3125, or give or take a few, probably off a bit. Now I'm gonna go push it in, type in enter, there you go. And then you notice that it's at an angle of seven and 15 sixteenths. So it's gonna do chaffer only one edge. So actually in reality, we could do this. So what we would do, is we could do this. Let me just show you another way. A line, like we've done before, we could go here and type in 33-5 over 16. Then we could do another line, which is 7-15-16, which gives us the total. All right, and then I go down five and a half. I go across here, like so, and I close it. So now, what did I do? Is I did 33 5 sixteenths plus 7 15 sixteenths. So if you're good at math, you could add it up quickly. What I did is I just drew the line first and then I drew the second line. So it gave me the actual overall distance. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select everything and join it together so it becomes one solid. And like we've done before, I'm pretty sure the chamfer is going to work. Let's go home, chamfer. Let's go distance this time. And we're going to put 7 dash 15 sixteenths. The second one we're going to type in is 0. Let's see if this works. Now we're going to go click 1. Oh, this is not joined together. Let's go again, sorry. Distance 7.9, yes. And this is 0, so we're going to go with first, second. No, it's too large. Let's try again from first, second. Oh, I guess it didn't work. So what we could do is undo like we did. I thought the shampoo would work. Clearly, it probably is going to work if you try. But what we will do is we're going to keep it like we've done before. Eliminate this line. Go back here. Do a line again. Go the distance from here to here, which should be 33... 5 sixteenths and all I have to do is just connect the lines and it should work as well the same like before grab this one pull it over here so now if I join it all together there we go sometimes a simpler simple way is just to go draw a line annotate let's go check from here to here should be our dimension of 33 33 and 516. So why is it doing 33 and 38? Because if we go to the D-DIM, or if you don't know that shortcut, you want to go the old school way, you go annotate, the little icon over here, you go modify, and we're going to go change our precision to, in this case, 32, because that's the, the largest diameter, um, denominator. Press OK, and now you know we have it at 33, 5, 6, uh, 5 16s. And if I go back to the next one and check from here to here, you know that I have perfect. The numbers are perfect. See? Let's join together. And now let's do the same thing we did to the last one on the other side. We use the same technique I did before. Again, you can use whichever technique you find best for you. Draw a line that's 39 and a quarter. We're going to go. This time I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to do offset. Uh, should I do offset? No, I'm going to yeah, do a line down. We're going to do five and a half. Right, that's so I know my distance. I type in 7 2732. Then we're going to go another line and do three, like that one there. So now we know that this line here is going to connect to this point here. We can eliminate this. 
and we could do the same thing that I just did over here. We could go five and a half. Obviously, there's other ways, like I said before. This way, I'm just doing it. So, I want to. Three, 27 over 32. There you go. Connect the lines. I just do this now. Bam, bam. Join it together. And there you go. Now I have this piece connected as well. If I check my dimensions, this should be 39 and a quarter, which it is. This one here should be five and a half, which is which is good. The distance from here to here should be 327 32, which is good. And this one here, which should be 727 32, is also correct. So we have all the pieces correct. And nice so they're all nicely done they're all joined now like we said before the thickness is going to be two so now we're going to go back and we're going to go put extrude home extrude by selecting everybody and type in two i open up my 3d and you're going to see that they're all extruded to distance of two conceptual now i have all the parts so now i could just do the annotating let's go back to the top view Again, it's always important that if you're using the view cube when you're rotating the views, Y and X have to always be flat. For example, if I went home and then press the home button and I went to front view, for example, see my Z and X are showing, which means if I draw a line, it's not going to work. It's only going to work in one direction. See, it looks like it's not working. If I go press 3D, you notice that the line is just on top of each other. If I want it to work in the front view, I have two options. I could either do UCS view, and now it resets the, view, the origin. And then when I'm done with it, I go UCS world when I'm finished. Press home. There's that way. Or if I want to use the front view, I just literally go here and press front view, and it automatically adjusts the correct angles for me. Okay. There we go. So again, like I was saying, you're able to, instead of changing it through this cube, just go automatically here and automatically adjust the Y and X. Perfect. So now let me continue with the annotating of the piece. So we're going to go back and we're going to put the names. So how do we do the names again, guys? We do, and ladies, we do M text, And we make a little box underneath in this case here. It makes the box. We change the size. If I want, I'll put it at, let's see how small it is when we leave it like that. Let's do PN dash one, close. It's pretty small. So select it again and just type it in at one. You could have done this also in the layout, but I just want to do it now in advance. It's okay. Let's put 1.5. This is why by doing in the layout, it's a lot easier because the scale is going to be always the same of the text. Copy this piece now. That's P1. We're going to put, oops, copy, CO. From this location, I'm going to put it here. Got to grab these ones. Put it, oops, nearest. Put it over here. Put it over here. So I'm going to rename them afterwards, which is a lot faster than doing one at a time. So, well, technically I'm doing one at a time, but there we go. This one here should be PN5. This one here should be PN3. This one here should be PN7. This one here should be 8. 6. Four, PN two. Okay, so we have them all placed. Next thing we could do is we could go back to the sheet, and we could start putting them on here. So again, like we did before, I could also try the new way, like I showed you guys in the other videos, where we go to open here, layout, base view from model space, which is going to give me everything at one shot. Still loading. Let's 
There we go. Click my base point. Oh, is that it? Now we gotta change the view to the top view. There we go. I can press accept. And now if I go back to it, just want this one view. Click here, I'm gonna open it up and I can change the scale to a smaller scale. See again I just I set up first one and then I go here now, change the scale to one twenty. So it's perfect. And I can align it to the middle. There, see it's a lot faster this way as well. Now we're gonna annotate it. What I could have done also is I forgot is you should have changed these ones here to an actual layer. You can make the layers. I'm gonna make this one as thick. Grab all the annotations. And change the layer as notes. my note didn't come in over here so that's why I'm telling you before it's better you guys just do them on the other side I'll leave it just for reference for myself but I'm gonna do it again on this side so now we're gonna dimension it like we've done before annotate we're gonna make sure we're in the right layer guys it's very important that when you're doing in AutoCAD you use layers to separate everything notes annotate this one here should be 72 Perfect. From here to here should be five and a half. Perfect. So some of you may ask, but how do I get the inch assigned? Again, I go to click here, modify, and I'm going to go to prefix means before, suffix means afterwards. Click the little abbreviation there, and there you go. Now let's go the same thing to this one, annotate, click. There we go. Annotate from here to from here to here. Then do this one. Annotate. Annotate. From here to here. Annotate from here to here. This is giving you error because it's not connected. So let's try again. From here to here. There we go. The next one. This should be 2. This should be 5. This should be 3. And, oh, this is should be 3.5. Oh, well, I'm going to go check that. I think I may have done the wrong. Well, let's go check the model again. I thought we had checked before. So we go check and it actually is saying that it's not associated to it. So maybe if I go back and let's do dimension and let's make it automatically grab it. Three and a half works. Okay, so it's, it is correct. I just I think it's not grabbing it. There we go. Come on. Sometimes it's a little tricky, it's the snaps that mess around with it. See, now it's three and a half, so now it's correct. Move it to the other side. And then we have another dimension going from here to here. See, this means it's not, when it does this, it means that it's not actually clicking the object. You're actually dimensioning it above on model space. So go back again and just click again the same piece, see? And you'll get it to work. I'll put it on top this time. Then this one here, same concept again. Grab it. 516s, perfect. On the newer versions of AutoCAD, it automatically grabs the dimension for you, which is a lot easier. There you go. There we go. That one's done. Our thicknesses should, the width, sorry, should be always 5.5, so that's correct. And I have, all my, uh, I have one more dimension here, I think. Going from here. Five and a half, perfect. Now do this side. Forty-two. 
it's the snap, sometimes I grab on, and that's why you see me press escape, go back and forth. Auto save just kicked in. <laughs> Let's do the next one. If it does this, sometimes it doesn't give it to you, just click the or the points. It should work as well. I need from here to here. No, I have to do this one. I think it's better if I get this guy. There we go, see? Sometimes you just have to click once or twice. And it will work. And now I'll just do the last notes and text. Put the name here PN dash one in italic. There we go. Copy this over. Put it over here. I'll do it now one at a time, I guess. PN two. It's actually faster just to click like this than trying to. It's getting a little bit messy. Put it over here. Here. I gotta move this one up a bit after this. Like so. Get rid of this dimension and let's move this guy up a bit. This is actually PN6. This is PN8. PN7. PN3. PN5. PN4 over here. There you go. And then we just fill in the title blocks like we've done before. This one here should be called... I'm going to call this one... Problem... Solving... Exercise... 3 text properties, I can move it, make it smaller if I want, so 0.75, that's okay, or I could have just done, put it back here, put this back to 1, I just broke it up, since I do have 3 lines for this, get rid of this one, this one here I could call it project name, it could be workbench, And then you could fill in the rest of the information, the date, the drawing number, the scale that you're using. In this case here, if you forgot what scale I was using, we just click here on the icon and see 1 to 20. Like so. Change the material to wood. I end up doing it all now. Material wood. And then you go on more and more and more. Okay? So that's the first page. Now you, I'll be making the video of the assembly coming up after this. Hope it was easy for you guys. So again, the model piece, like so, and they're all extruded to two, like the table shows. Thank you.